Have you ever wondered how big YouTubers like Linus Tech Tips make professional looking charts and graphs for their videos? Well, I can't tell you, but I can tell you how I do it. So before we get into this video, I need to make a quick disclaimer. This video is about Vizlo. Uh, however, I have no affiliation with Vizlo. Vizlo did not sponsor this video. They are just a service that I really like and enjoy and want to share with you guys. There is an affiliate link in the description, so if you click on the link in the description and follow that um, to check out this service, I will get a small amount of money back. So if you want to help support the channel, please check out Vizlo via that link in the description. Um, but again, Vizlo didn't sponsor this video and I don't have any kind of affiliation with them. So basically at its core, Vizlo is a service that lets you create charts and graphs and customize them visually a lot more than you can with say a graph creator in something like Excel or any other spreadsheet software. It's designed to make nice visually appealing charts that you can put in all sorts of media, but of course in this case we're specifically talking about YouTube videos. So if we go over here to Vizlo's site, they let you create a ton of different types of charts. So there's the basic stuff you would expect like bar charts, pie charts, and they also have a ton of ever, other different kinds of charts and visualizations, word clouds, um, they have a MS Paint ripoff, um, different charts, you can see diff just different ways to visualize data, a world map, all sorts of cool stuff like that. So if you are looking to represent data, there's a ton of different ways to do it, and it's a really great way to show things off, uh, whether you want just a basic bar chart or you want, say, a human body chart. It's just a really neat way to show data in your videos. Probably every single chart I've ever made from one of my videos is a bar chart, so we're going to look at that and you just click on that and create now. And again, Vizlo is all about the customizability and how you can make the chart look. It makes it really easy, uh, quickly make charts, but also quickly make them look good and professional and polished. So when you load up, you just get a default uh, layout with just some random data in there. Um, over here on the side, you can see we can select a theme um, our document layout, which I'll change to 16 by 9, which is super nice for YouTube videos because YouTube videos are typically 16 by 9, so you can set that aspect ratio. Um, or you can also set a custom aspect ratio if you want. Maybe you want, maybe you use like a 2 to 1 aspect ratio like MKBHD. You can set your chart for that aspect ratio. You can also set uh, all sorts of things. You can adjust the width of your bars. You can adjust your colors. Um, you can make the chart horizontal, which I typically do. I think all of my charts are horizontal bar charts. You can also come in here and you can um, label your axis. Uh, let's say this is mics. And the y-axis is, um, I don't know, decibels. Lower is better. So we can come in here and we can label stuff. Uh, we can decide to show our axis. Uh, we can show a grid to help kind of make it easier to see that sort of stuff. Um, and then we can go in here and we can customize our data. So um, let's say this is road and our value is 86. And let's say this is, I don't know, AKG and our value is 94. And this is, um, what's another mic company? Sure, this is sure and the value is 42. So we can come in here and we can put in our data. It works basically just like any spreadsheet software. Uh, we can also, if we have too many chart or too many bars here, we can delete some of them. We can add more wherever we want. So again, super customizable, makes it real quick and easy to make a chart and lay out all your data. Now the cool thing with this low is, of course, the visuals. So we can come in here and we can change our our theme if we want. So you can see I have some custom themes of my own that I've created for different stuff, um, but they also have a lot of their own styles that you can try out. So I don't know, let's stick with this one. And then maybe we decide, oh, I don't like the font. We can actually go in here and we can change the font. Uh, we can change the font for each of our specific elements. Uh, we can change our font size. Uh, we can make it bold or italic. And we can customize our grids. We can customize all sorts of stuff. We can decide if we want a custom font for our axis. Basically, whatever you can think of um, that you see on screen, there's a way to customize it. And of course, we can also customize the colors of our charts. So 
Um, maybe we want to add like a teal one. Now we have a teal one. We can maybe change this to like a, a ugly looking yellow. So whatever you want to do, you can change it and um, just customize it however you want to fit the visual look of uh, your video or whatever it is that you're making the graph for. So another cool thing here is if we export this chart, we can download it as a PNG, which is pretty typical. You'd expect that. You can also download it as a PDF, but if you're doing it for a YouTube video, you probably want the PNG. But you can also select transparent background. So if you don't want the chart's default background or whatever you set the background to be, if you want to use your own background, you can just set transparent and download it like that. And that's awesome for any time you want to put any kind of custom graphic or video behind charts, which is pretty common in YouTube videos. So uh, it makes it real easy to do that. There's also options to just share it and embed it. But again, obviously, if you want, uh, if you're doing this for a YouTube video, you probably just want to download it and uh, put it in your video. Now, overall, Visilo is a great service. Um, it's not free. There is a free version, as you can see here. Uh, but it puts a giant watermark on the chart, which might be fine with you, but probably it's not. Um, so if you want the paid version, which you can get rid of the watermark on, it's $11 per month for um, the annual billing, so you have to pay for a whole year. Or if you just want the monthly, it's only $14 per month, which I think is pretty good uh, and not too bad. Um, personally, the way I use it is uh, I don't regularly put charts in my videos. I only do it now and then, so when I know I'm going to be making videos uh, where I want to put charts in it, I'll just get one month, which is only $14. So, if you, again, if you're making any amount of money from your YouTube channel, it's not too hard to justify only $14 to make charts. And again, I think this is super cool. Uh, it's way more customizable and uh, w way better looking than charts you would get from pretty much any kind of spreadsheet software or any other service that I've used. There's not a ton of services out there like this, and this is the by far the best one that I've found, so I highly recommend it. Again, if you're interested in checking this out, definitely check it out via the link in the description. Again, I get a little bit of money back, so it helps support the channel if you do click that link in the description. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button.